Hey, it's Jabbo. Welcome to Brickzar, the channel where I love Lego and I love this box car. But I'm not going to marry it. But I love this box car. Ah, this may be my favorite Lego train car yet. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's green. So I just got done building this. I actually finished it yesterday. I'm filming this the next day. But I really enjoyed building this Burlington Northern boxcar. This is from the Brick Model Railroader collection. I don't even know. This is a 50-foot boxcar with 10-foot door. Uh, anyway, Kale, thank you <laughs> for the design. Uh, you can purchase these from BrickModelRailroader.com. The the, the instructions. You have to acquire the parts. And this one was a little tricky uh, to acquire the parts. They did come with some of the green hoses in the kit uh, that I bought when, when I got the uh, in the uh, stickers, the decals for the Burlington Northern model. You can get different roads. You can build different colors. But the Burlington Northern is one I always wanted to build. Uh, I always liked those box cars when they had the HO scale versions. Still got a few HO scale versions of a boxcar similar to this. I think the Tyco ones had a green roof. Uh, and technically with the stickers, the decals that they came with, I think it's supposed to have a white roof. Uh, mine has the gray roof right now. I may change it to white. I don't know. It just, I actually kind of like it with the, the dark bluish gray. Tell me what you think. Should I change it to white tiles on the top? But I'll just give you a quick look around this thing. It's like they didn't miss any detail. <laughs> little handrails oh even these little um uh, uh bearings on the wheels that are added that looks pretty cool i did take a shortcut there was supposed to be oh i didn't put that wheel back after i was holding this i didn't put it back on there there's supposed to be some little hoses that connect to these little minifigure hands i got lazy it's hard to attach the uh eight millimeter length hoses um i just uh it, did, it wasn't that important of a detail to, to me, so I did leave uh, that detail off. I may go back and add it later. I just wanted to hurry up and get done. Uh, but it just looks great. I love the door, the way he did the door there. Um, I had to cheat a little bit. All right, so th the instructions called for a 1x1x5 one by one by brick right there. And it kind of looks like one, but what I did is I turned one of these sideways. Because <laughs> they did not make that in green. Uh, I thought about doing one by one bricks, but it, I, I wanted to keep the pattern the way it is there. So, uh, yeah, I just did a little part substitute there. But anyway, it's just a beautiful, beautiful boxcar. I love it. It's the biggest of the um, freight that I've built so far. So we got uh, the Chessy flat car. Oh, I also finished uh, the little old style bulldozer. Add to my yellow bulldozer collection. In case you don't know... If you're new to the channel, I collect yellow bulldozers. <laughs> and I, I'm sorry if I laugh when I say stuff like that because Mardi Gras man's already typing and you collect everything. <laughs> but no, I, it's one of the things that I do try to get different versions of. And this is a mock again. But um, I've, yeah, I added that to the cotton. and put it on the cotton belt flat car because I wanted to keep the... the I just love my Chessy. Cheesy, Chessy. I love my Chessy flat car, so I wanted to keep it smooth. So I, I put the, um, uh, the the bulldozer on that one. So basically we got the Burlington Northern. We got the two flat cars. Those were basically from the same kit. Uh, I built two models from the instructions for that kit. That came with the kit with the flat car. We also have the Shell Tanker Wagon. Uh, I, do want, I do have stickers to build two more tank cars. I'm going to build an SO tank car. It'll be, um, I'm trying to remember if that one will be black. And then I got a white one that's going to be the Octan, I believe. I believe I got the stickers for Octan. <laughs> I'll have to look. Um, but So I got to acquire the, the white parts and the black parts to build that. Uh, then we got the hopper car. Uh, with the coal load, I would like to build more of these as well. Um, got the caboose, the Norfolk and Western, Western, I said Western, Western caboose. 
And this is the first model here, the Brick Model Realtor the PS40, I think it is. That's the Brick World Chicago exclusive Union Pacific Challenger. So we got seven different kits. Let me count again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven kits. That because that came with the flat car, and those two flat cars are from the same kit. So I got seven different kits, basically. Um, so I still got to build the um, there's a gondola kit where you got two options with the gondola, and then there's the uh, the flat car, like the pulpwood flat car. It's what do they call that thing? It's got the ends on the side. I'm terrible with names, <laughs> but I got those two kits. I think are the only two I have left to get. But I, I got to acquire all the parts for all those, so it's going to take a while. I need to start working on Brick Fair Alabama. So I'm gonna. I've enjoyed building these kits. I've that's pretty much what I've been doing. I haven't been focused on making videos or cleaning up the basement. I've just been building these kits and it was very relaxing. My wife even was asking me the other day, she says, do you find that relaxing? And I'm like, I do. Although um, <laughs> the, the little techniques sometimes are, they make them challenging to build. Uh, but um, I just love them. And I can't wait to get an engine. That's one of the most common comments I get. <laughs> uh, what are you going to pull those with? Uh, so I need to build an 8-wide uh, locomotive, and I do want to kind of do my own design. I can always use the Disney train to pull them. It's uh, the right size, pretty much. I mean, it's the wrong era, but the right size. I just wanted to show you all what I have gotten done. And again, if you want to find out more about Brick Model Railroader, easy to find, brickmodelrailroader.com. These kits all designed by either Kel Lepart, Lepart or Glenn Holland. Check them out on YouTube on their YouTube channel as well as the website. They post articles on the website. Sometimes they have guest writers that post uh, things there. Is not, that's a ghost guest? Is a guest guest writer? That's a ghost writer. Or guest it's guest writers. Uh, ghost writer is the guy that flies at night. I, anyway, that's my uh, my video for that. So I just wanted to um, highlight what I have built so far. Those are not brick model railroader. The Percy and Diesel Ten. Those are from Australia. Anyway. There you go. It's beautiful, but I'm not going to marry it. So thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe. If you're watching in the year 2022 and I still have comments. Actually, if you're watching in the year 2020 and I still have comments, leave a comment below. Anyway, if YouTube still exists, you can leave a comment below. If YouTube doesn't exist, check me out on Instagram. If that doesn't exist... I don't know. Maybe I'm on Twitter. I'm certainly on Reddit, but nobody, like, I don't know how to use Reddit. But anyway, see you in the next video. Spigzar.